Okay, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Your bike looks kinda cool. Mm, yeah, it's a shit bike anyways. Hello. Uh, you're the guy on the radio. Yes, my name is Robert Valentino. Okay. Apologies. Nice to meet you. Apologies for the confusion. It's fine. It's fine. I understand completely. All right. My name is uh, Cody Hawkins, Mr. Valentino. Is that the last name again? Oh, I think, uh, all right, let's try it again. So what's up? Well, nice to meet you, Mr. Hawkins. I just wanted to uh, talk for a minute or two. So, Undead MC, I've heard a lot about you guys from, uh, mostly from a lot of Zeros people. A lot of stories, a lot of stories, definitely. Yeah. Um, I'm, uh, yeah, we've been around for a bit. I kind of, um, started this with an old guy named Jack who's no longer here. Yes. So why'd you guys, uh, disappear? I uh, just couldn't keep the numbers up. A lot of people left the island and other things, so... Just kind of, uh, been under the rocks for a bit. Get that gentleman behind me! Promise me you guys will never go to sleep for eternity! <clears throat> oh, John? Well. Of course. Okay. Mr. Cody, uh, you mind if we sit down or something? Get a little more comfortable. Sure. At ease, man. Up. Okay. So, if you don't mind me asking, how many members does the undead have? I mean, practically looking at them right now. Just me and uh, her right now, as far as I'm concerned. For real? Just you two. Awake. There's a couple of Wait, I mean like, I mean like, you know, just total. In total? Mm, I think like four, five, something like that. Four or five? Yep. Well, uh, why don't you guys decide to uh, pack up the whole undead stuff and uh, join the Mafia? Why would I join a Mafia? Better, better opportunities. Better opportunities for you and us. Such as? Well, something you'll find out is being with a lot of men, you know. Keep yourself safer, you know. Have a higher chance of making it through this, uh, whatever this is. You understand what I'm saying? 
get your point. But, uh, I prefer riding bikes, to be honest. Well, who says you can't ride a bike? I'm not really into um, that kind of stuff if you're talking like business related things. Yeah, I'm just saying. All you gotta do is just ride a bike with a fedora on, you know, with a nice hat. And boom, you're a mafia member. <laughs> I mean, the fedora hat would fall off. No, we, uh... There's some stuff we put on our hair, you know, it's, uh, what, uh, John, what's that stuff called we put on our hair, uh, to keep our hats on? Uh, I'm not sure the name of it, boss. We buy it in bulk. Glue? Glue, glue, it's like, uh, it's called like hair glue or some, some, something like that. It's meant to, uh, put on your head. You put hats on, they won't fall off. It's like hair gel, but not hair gel. Why do you think we should join your mafia? Well, ranks. Ranks. Ranks are everything. People are everything. The more, the merrier. Now, we could have two groups that are a certain size, and we could have one group that's uh, one size, you know? One big size, instead of two small sizes. Although, we're not too small. And, uh, Cody, are you uh, the leader of Undead? Not really. That would be Trenton, but I guess you could consider me a founder. Founder. If you had any sort of skills leading, I would uh, definitely give you some sort of rank after you've proven yourself. If you know you were to uh, take that offer. God, everybody's fucking radioing me tonight. So anyway, um, so you new around here? New. Like how new? Not entirely new. I mean, uh, as I see it, we're the after you know the loss of a couple bigger groups. We uh, we're, we're growing up now. I think we're one of the biggest. The city. We bet we practically own the city in this uh, on the island. I don't say that lightly. So, by own, what do you mean by that? Basically, if somebody comes inside or or is uh, doing any funny business in the city, and we don't like it, we uh, can exterminate it quick. Mm. That kind of stuff, of course. So, now, uh, go ahead. No. <coughs> so, you guys were to uh, join a, a wing of the Mafia. Consider it like you guys would control the upper half of the island. See, we, we have enough men to control the city, but uh, when it comes to the desert, we're not very uh, we're not very spectating on the on the desert. I mean, we already control the well control here around here, anyways. Yes, the best we've got around here for eyes is uh, the zeros, and they're not very uh, awake. I actually know a few of them. Met a few of them, actually. Um, but, I mean, what's the point of joining your mafia to okay, control yeah, something well, that we already control, so? Limo, right Just doesn't make any sense. Because when... <laughs> The big bad wolf steps on your front doorstep and you're just not strong enough. You'll have us to help you. Or, of course, you know, you guys could decline and we'll just have to tax you guys to uh, help you out. I mean, we don't really need help. If that's what you're uh, it's, it's, not a, it's not a neat thing. We, you know, we'll watch over your shoulder, be big brother, but you're going to owe us. Mm. But you see how that kind of forced perspective is... Uh, could be dis seen as disrespectful. I don't want to be seen as disrespectful. I want to be seen as the man who of uh, of reasoning. So you want to? So basically, you're asking for us to bow down to you and uh, pay our taxes to you, regardless. 
No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying there's a trade. We offer you protection, whether or, may, whether or when may not you may need it, but it'll be there if you ever... Think of it like life insurance. You know, you've got insurance. Insurance. Say, uh, say Big Bad Wolf comes and steps on your front doorstep. We'll get in the way. But you're just going to have to pay us whether that happens or not. It won't be a lot. It won't, it won't be a lot at all. It'll be something, though. But then if we don't have that life insurance, then you just ain't going to be there. Correct. What do you mean? What I'm saying is, if, uh, say I don't accept the trade, um, what then? Well, like I said, I don't want to be, I don't want to be the unreasonable type, but, uh, it's not really a question I'm asking. It's kind of, so it's going to have to happen that way. Whether it's weapons or zinc, I'm going to need, it's going to, I'm going to need it. You see, we, we run this empire. And that needs a lot of funding. Vehicles and such. You see, you see that limo over there? Mm-hmm. I paid Leroy Jenkins a lot of money. I don't know if you know him or not. Good guy, good guy. I had to pay him a lot of money. A lot of zinc for that limo. Nice. When it comes to weapons, sometimes we run shy on ammunition. These are things we need. If we don't have them, we'll, we'll die. And uh, I don't know if I speak for my brothers, which I know I do. But I don't know if they uh, they agree with me, which I know they do. But uh, it's us before the world. It's always been us before the world. So if I gotta rip off a couple guys on a, with some biker vests on to uh, make sure that we stay the safe we can be, that's what we gotta do. Now, 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 if you agree to what I'm saying here, you will become a part of the brothers. Not necessarily becoming part of the mafia, but accepting the trade for what it is and accepting. Accepting uh, without resisting our trade, without resisting our trade, basically what it states is I will look out for you as much as I look out for my brothers here. You will become part of part of my my uh, my list of care. Now, without that, then you know maybe the big bad wolf at your front door might be us someday. I don't know. We'll, we'll plan it day by day. I doubt threat. that'll happen, but it's possible. Was that meant to be a threat? No, absolutely not. Don't see it as a threat at all. We would never come to hurt you. Just saying, anything's possible. Yeah. Now, you can say you can agree to what I'm telling you here, and we can go on with a day. And you just, you know, owe me a couple AK-47s, maybe a few hundred zinc here and there. Small stuff. I don't like to. Uh, I don't like to bully. See, and I if don't, yeah. I'm oh, sorry, though. go ahead. That's the thing, though. Why should we have to pay you for practically nothing that we don't that we wish to not? Like need? I said, it's like insurance. You know, you take it, and somebody comes messing with you guys. We'll we'll exterminate the issue. I mean, we haven't really had a problem with exterminating issues before. The world's a lot different than it used to be, Cody Hawkins. about the same to me. You'd be surprised. You thought that, uh, you thought that it was the same, but, uh, we're obviously not the same. We weren't here before. Yeah, I mean, it's like my first time meeting you guys. Of course, and like I said, I don't want to spoil it with, uh, too much, too much disrespect from either, either side, so that's why I'm keeping it simple at first, you know? I'm putting my cards on the table. Take them or don't take them. It's up to you. But uh, what what I'm trying to convince you here is that I strongly, strongly advise that you take you take the offer. I don't need the offer, or I should say, we don't need the offer. You say that now, but like I'm saying, you might someday. Why do you say that? Man, like I said, anything is possible. Anything is possible. I can, I can, I can tell you a whole story. I can fib up something right now that'll scare you into wanting to do this. Say I, say I died right now, and one of my co-leaders, one that's not c currently here with us, gets in charge. Well, he might not think the same way I do. 
So he might decide to come on your front doorstep and uh, tax you immediately. Like, yeah, whether you want it or not, pay us. And pay us a lot more than we, what you would pay us now, obviously. So he's demanded tens of thousands of zinc. And what are you going to do? You're going to tell him no. And then it turns, in, uh, it turns into you all dying. Or you can accept... You can accept it now. Oh, it's a little bit here and there. I'm not asking for a lot. I'm asking for a little tiny bit. It's like, an, it's like insurance, like I said. And if someone comes bothers you or you need any help with anything... Water, food, am ammunition, guns, if you need anything. It's a trade. Maybe uh, maybe you need a place to lay low. We have bed, shelter for you guys. Basically what I'm trying to say, the moral to the story here, is it's a very bad idea to be on our bad side. It's a very good, great idea to be on our good side. So how are we going to be on your bad side if we don't want to accept your offer? I'm not saying that you are going to be on my bad side immediately on accepting my offer. I'm saying it's on the it's on the it's definitely possible for you to be on our bad side after something that may or may not happen in the future if you don't take my offer. Wait, hang on wait. So, Cody, are you currently paying this guy to defend your base right now? Nope. So you're telling me that you're coming up here and saying Basically forcing them to pay up, or...? No, I'm just talking, I'm just talking. So, proposition. Proposition. Then what's up with the, uh, like, uh, if you don't pay up, uh, we come and we uh, tax at your front door stuff, and we... <sighs> I'm saying, I'm saying that's possible, not for me, but for someone else. Say I died right now. Mm -hmm. Well, leadership of the mafia, of, of the, of the Valentino family would change. Mm-hmm. What my underboss decides to do from there will be behind me, because I'll be six feet in the ground. Yeah. So maybe he might uh, get a file lit up on his ass to come and knock on your front door and uh, tax you guys. Well, I won't have any control over that. But now, Johnny Boy, my underboss. Well, what he's, happens if Cody doesn't want you know himself in y'all's pocket? And he's he not going to be in my pocket. I, I promise you. If anything, if anything, will be in his pocket. That's what I'm trying to say here. We'll be a card in his deck of cards. If he needs us, we'll be there. But it's going to cost him. Okay. Not a lot. Not a lot, but it's going to cost them. We offer protection. Okay. But we don't take it day by day. Because, you know, it's just not how it works. We need to we need to keep a consistent amount of zinc in our pockets so that way we can fund the way to keep you secure. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. If I went by a scenario-to-scenario -scenario basis, you know, I'll be... I, I wouldn't have the kind of funding I would... Regularly. Yeah. Well, uh, I do appreciate <clears throat> the offer and all. I just, uh, I don't really see a purpose for it right now. Okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. About what? Don't say I didn't warn you about the people that may come at any time and hurt you. And then you'll be crying for us and we'll be like, no. You refused my offer. But what happens whenever we got people attacking this base and, you know, we somehow catch one of these guys and it turns out that it's from your family? Like I said, the what only happens? way that will ever happen is if uh, someone wrongs us or I'm no longer the leader. Okay. So as well. far as I can tell you, everything will be fine unless someone here on this uh, field, you can say, messes with my brother. My, one of my brothers. Okay, well, we'll stay out of your business. And uh, if Cody wants business with y'all, then go ahead. But of course, I look forward to our business, our uh, our business ventures. I'm sure that we'll, we'll end up in one soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your name behind me, fella? Gus Marlboro. Gus Marlboro. 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 I can't fucking say it. My brother Axel. There's too many fucking Marlboros out there. Are you related to Frost? No. You're not related to Frost. Marlboro. I mean, yes, I'm related to him, but uh, I don't prefer his ways. Hmm, I, 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 I... That puts me at ease. Frost. Very disrespectful person to me, anyways. Yeah. See, when Frost... When Frost was around, we were a bit of a smaller group of guys, so... 
Okay, well, Frost well, he's, is gone. He's been taken care of, so you don't have to worry I, about him again. I've heard, I've heard, I've heard, I've heard all about it. Trust me. I've, 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 trust me. I know more than anybody in this, uh, around here about it. I doubt it. I, I know a lot. Trust me, he's my brother. I understand. See, Frost, every time I went to go meet the guy, he always had some sort of, uh, disrespect because of our, our group size. It's like he saw us kind of like a cockroach. Yeah, I understand yeah, I now. See, I can see you're coming from from there. Yeah. But uh, now, not so much, and that kind of—that's what I'm talking about. Uh, he had a—he had a—he had a disrespect factor, and I, I didn't like his tone. I could have done anything. We would have been uh, would have been defenseless against the lost. Oh. Yeah. Well, the only reason why I'm not wearing a coat right now is because my father's advice and. I somehow I I don't know what happened to my cut. He might have taken a two vice with him. I'm not sure. Cut? What do you mean cuts? The cuts we wear. It's a brand, basically. The jackets. Jackets. Yeah. Hmm. Like this one I'm wearing. Got it. Got it. Got it. So you said lost. Uh, are you part of lost? Yes, I'm a part of lost. I am the uh, president of no match out there. Is so lost isn't dead, correct? There's a lot of us. I, I was under the uh, impression that the loss was gone. Maybe. Frost is gone. This chapter's gone. You got three more chapters that are on the silent stone. They may not be here right now, and they may be asleep. Well, of course they're asleep. Like I've said on radio multiple times, uh, if there's somebody that knows everything going on in this island, it, it'd be us. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, yeah. That's why it uh, kind of perplexes me to see another Marlboro. I thought they were all gone. No. Mm -hmm. I've and always I've been the one to stay behind. That's why I'm the uh, president of No Match out there. Definitely. I'm good Every time I alone. hear the Marlboro name, I, uh, I kind of get disgusted a little bit. Uh, I guess it's just my impression from Frost. I'm here to uh, change that. Frost Appreciate may, that. may have Appreciate tainted that. the last name of our, uh, you know, our club, but uh, I'm not here to do that. I'm different than Frost. Different than Frost. I understand. You said your friend's name was Axel. Yes. Axel, uh, what's your story? I Hang on, wait. Much. Before before we uh, before we continue, where are you from? From New York, Boston, Queens. Where are you from? Where am I from? I'm from Liberty City. Thought so. My father, uh, my father's father. You know the Marlboro Mafia? You guys the Mar are, uh, Marlboro sure Mafia. Can't say I've heard of it. Fair enough. your history why'd you come down here me you talking to me yeah well when I was young my uh, my father he ran he ran a loan shark mob kind of like uh, in the and then Liberty City I grew up in uh, the, the ranks you know I was you know slinging drugs stuff like that one day, my father told me, "Hey, I think uh, I think it's time you join the family business, son." So I joined my uh, I joined my father, and uh, over time, my father started to lose his mind. wasn't the man he was originally. So of course, me uh, me me going into leadership, I was like, was like you know, because he just was making decisions, doing drugs, stuff you're not supposed to do when you have a lot of power like that. Mm -hmm. Making a lot of bad decisions, so I had to do what was necessary for business. I regret it every day. So the zombie virus broke out, whatever you want to call it, the Z virus, whatever you want to call these freaks. And I uh, found my found my way over to uh, Los Santos. Liberty City was too ran down with uh, with Zeds. I thought the desert, you know, desert. 
everybody evacuated from California when all this went down. So I thought, you know, maybe there's not too many of them in California. Okay, alright. San Andreas is what it's called. Uh, San Andreas. I was born in Liberty City. Matter of fact, are you familiar with uh, Angels of Death? Yeah. Angels of Death, uh, never heard of it. As far as I know, there was a, something that happened between Lost and there back in the day. Back in my day. I don't know much about uh, the biker guys. They've always been... Had a couple issues with... Uh, I think there was a lost chapter in Liberty City when I was growing up, but I, I faintly remember it. Yeah, it was um, Johnny Klebitz. He, uh, he kind of rose in the chapters. It kind of went to shit, though. Not yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't recognize the name. Well, he used like to I said, be, it was, uh, I was really the president of the lost chapter down in uh, Liberty City, but shit kind of went AWOL. Got his head stomped in over here by this guy in a fucking trailer. And, uh, really? The chapter down by Liberty City kind of went to shit. It's crazy, that's crazy. Yeah. Dude gets his fucking head stomped in, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Dumb way to die. He stomped his head in, uh, worse shit happened to him, but... Uh, there used to be a sheriff around here, and so there used to be a lot of crazy shit around this, these parts. Meth addicts, blacks are heroin, drug dealers, fucking robberies. Yeah, all these kind of, all these kind of folks, you know, they used to come up to us looking for stuff, and I, I took a lot of them away. You can't do business with someone without a clear mind. You can't. They, they make terrible decisions when they're influenced. Got a point there. Well, is that pretty much all you needed? What do you mean? On business B &B. life. Yeah. Well, Cody, I never asked you much about your uh, backstory. I'd like to hear it. Well, they, uh, signed up for the Marine Corps after I graduated high school. I did six years there, and then I came here, and, uh, became a sheriff for about a year, and then all this happened. It's crazy. Me and my family survived for a while until, uh, until something happened a couple years ago. So, uh, you, you say Liberty City, right? Liberty City, yes. You seen any Armenian douchebags there? I might have seen a few. You know if you they're, know still, if they're there? still there? Uh, can't say I do. Can't say I do. They may. I don't. I'm not sure. Last I heard, uh, the ones that, ones that, uh, did me wrong and took my family from me are still alive out there in Liberty right now. Well, why haven't you gone to Liberty City and tried to find me, find those people? Gas is a scarce thing nowadays. So is vehicle maintenance. Drive all well, uh, miles. If you uh, accepted our uh, accepted our offer earlier, we'll get you all uh, the gas you'd ever need to take you across the country and back multiple times. <laughs> I don't mind paying a little bit for gas, but I mean, defense around here, we don't need it. But I will tell you one thing though, is if I see your men coming around here trying to cause problems so we could try and get into whatever the... What is this again? 
Is this a, um, like a de defense plan? Defense plan, like what we're offering here. Okay, so it's an offer. Offer. Unless you guys want to ally up, of course. Do some sort of alliance. I mean, what is it an ally with? Oh, well, I mean, are you guys together or are you guys two different, uh, two separate entities? Two separate uh, motorcycle clubs, actually. Well, to go to here, to go to here. What an alliance means is no matter what happens, my guys won't hurt you guys. And your guys won't do the same to us. Mm -hmm. That also goes for you, Mr. You said your name was Gus. Yep. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Robert, uh, Roberts. I'm changing my last name. It's hard to explain. Okay. Right. My name is, uh, Valentino, though. So you want me to call you Robert or Valentino? Call me Valentino. All right. Well, I think my men are tired, hungry probably. We're going to head home. Okay. All right, man. It was a good talk. Nice to meet you both. Nice you to too. meet you. Y'all have fun. And I uh, look forward to uh, talking again. You guys seem interesting. Yep. You guys have been around here a lot longer than I have. So... If you guys Hold can on. teach me a few thing, a thing or two, or teach me a couple stories, tell me a couple stories about the island before uh, we showed up. Oh, back when it was shit. Y yeah, whatever. It wasn't whatever necessarily. It, was yeah. it wasn't necessarily shit, but you know, it, it was. I heard it was pretty bad. All right, guys, let's go home. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna get my biker book. On me. Guys came over here threatening Cody. Yeah. I don't fucking like him. Well, it's just me now. <laughs> this your bike? Yeah. Fucking hit a stop sign on the way here. <laughs> here. Grab mine. You can have it. How many times those guys threaten you? I know Trenton said something about <laughs> them coming over here one day in a helicopter and was practically trying to do the same thing. Make basically, them. basically, yeah, basically make... terrorize you into until you you pay up, basically. I guess. Yeah, right. Well, uh, he declined their offer as far as I'm concerned. I'm also declining their offer, so... Yeah. That shit ain't gonna fly around here. Especially whenever they come in here with threats. Like, I don't give a shit how big of a threat or how small of a threat it is. You don't do that shit. You come in here and you ask. That's the best way to do it. You don't fucking give examples of if, what happens if you don't pay, you know? Yeah. It's disrespectful. The reason I don't talk to people like that is the less they know, the more dangerous you are. It's unfortunate that they got a lot more manpower than us. I just they ain't got any manpower just because they got two guys sitting by a fucking vehicle and two guys behind them doesn't mean shit. I could have taken out three of those guys right next to you with fucking a click of a finger. I was waiting, to be honest. I was, I was literally just waiting so I can fucking get my assault rifle and just pop the other guys in the I back. told you to we put your hands, hands up put your hands you... up and then yeah. we were gonna light them the well, fuck up well they never asked me to so I mean you could've just went like you know, hey I don't want any no problems. if they were causing problems and you needed you know you just wanted them dead you could've just said hey you could've just put your hands up I would've fucking popped them yeah but you know old saying brains before bullets I mean for me, it's more bullets before brains, and I'm this far, so... Eh. I don't know, I was just taught, you know... The other way around. 
Yeah, well, um, in the future, I think nomads are going to be doing business in the city, I'm not too sure. <laughs> they might, they're probably going to attack, watch, they're probably going to attack the shit out of you. Or think terrorize they would? you, because they, before you guys came over, they mentioned how they're controlling the city and this and that. They're not going to do shit. <laughs> Especially with the two most badass people on the, in this island. They're not going to touch us. Like There's always bigger word. fish in the city, and we're not the most badass people here. But all I'm gonna say is, is that I'm about to get a hell of a lot smarter because uh, right now I feel kind of dumb. You know, I'm rusty. Yeah, I feel you. I'm I've been out and about for a long time, so that's why I got this beard. But uh, what do you think of the motel now? Uh, it's actually pretty badass. Come over here real quick, actually. Check this out. Give me a second. Hey, you know what's weird? Um, why is there not a door on your base? A gate? Yeah. Uh, that's so in case Jenkins, so we can have Jenkins be able to pull his truck in for supplies and shit. When the fuck did you get water in here? <laughs> uh, pretty recently, but they, uh, they also yeah, put new uh, flooring, uh, flooring in there. In there. Nice. And they cleaned the insides up there. I don't know if oh, they've yeah. seen that room, that room yet. yet. Up there? Yeah. yeah. You'll be pretty surprised. That was pretty fucking boring, I'm not gonna lie. You can see the hallways cleaned up. Oh uh -huh, yeah. Oh, this is looking nice. Yeah. yeah. Who did this? Uh, Trenton and the rest. Fuck yeah. I just got back around here a few days ago, so... Yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna talk to the Mafia uh, about this quote-unquote no business in the city without paying because that's gonna be a problem. I wouldn't go alone. Why don't you just bring him back here? Nah. It'll look, yeah, well. it'll look kind of soft if we do that. Are the garages in here still open? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, okay. Alright, well, um... Fuck, we're kinda out of gas. Uh, this bike has a shit ton of... Six... It, uh, broke on. Just take, yeah. the, uh, take the gas out of it, then. You can keep my fucking bike. I mean, Gus, if you wanna get the gas for your bike, you can. I'll There's just use this for the time being. <laughs> it's fucking nasty. I might as well strap a damn engine to this and get it yeah, to prospects. Yeah, I'm, I'm planning on spicing up, spicing things up, dude, because this is kind of boring right now, you know? But uh, I understand why it's boring, you know? Yeah. God, didn't you say something about private comms? Yeah, do you have any private comms for undead? Uh, what do you mean? Like, um, like undead tag private guys? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but, um, well, you know how I have to do it. What do you mean? <clears throat> My slash and light muscle. Yeah, do it. Okay, uh, hold your wrist out, what's your ID say on it? Six seven six. Okay. There you go. Alright. You want mine's, to do it? Yeah, mine's six eight three. Six eight three? Mm-hmm. There you go. Oh shit. Where'd he go? Was there hey, can you see me in the window? No. Alright, just making sure. Uh, I 
I was like, it popped up for a second and then it, uh. There we go. Alright, well, we're gonna talk to Mafia about city business. Okay. See what that's about. Alright. If you wanna come with us, you can. I mean. Probably go to sleep for a while. Alright.